Say the truth. I don't think that's a BBL. I think that's her true figure. No cap. Let's keep looking at it. Let's see. Hey, I think what y'all think? I think I don't think that's a BBL. No cap. I think that's her true figure. But hey, next up, man, we got uh <laughs> these BBLs killing y'all. <laughs> you feel me? BBLs going wrong, bro. The first thing about it, I don't know why females think men like BBLs so much for some reason. Personally, all the men I talk to, we like that real stuff. I like I don't like that hard rock brick feeling. Look, feel weird to me. But a lot of they they killing themselves. To do some, you know, for attention. And, and for attention that, you feel me, that a lot of men don't even like, man. Just be you. Be natural, man. Be natural. Love yourself, man. You feel me? You ain't got to go out here and kill yourself to do all this stuff, man. You feel me? But, hey, thank you guys for watching the video, man. Hey, I'm finna drop 10 of these hats. You feel what I'm saying? I just want to see if I got 10 true supporters, man. Well, there will never be a hat with this saying in this color again you feel what i'm saying i also have my cash up in the uh description if you want to donate to the channel hey that'll be a blessing as well because as you know like i've suffered my last channel getting demonetized and if you just want to see me keep going anything can happen so i always want to have like hey if y'all want to see these videos you can donate but i'm not begging i promise you you do not have to donate you feel me you do not have to so don't don't go all he asked no i promise you you do not have to but if you Dude, that's fine. But hey, let's get into the video, man. Look. Look, terrible. Look at this. Why do she, they think this is okay? Bro, that look terrible. I remember Kai Toy from Outkast. Uh, I like the way everybody was like, who is that? Oh my God, I wanted to meet her so bad. I really think that was her booty though, you know? When I put out my music, I wanted people to be like that too. Oh my God, who is that girl? Girls in these videos with these big fat asses and they twerking and they gyrating, like you gonna be intrigued by that. You gonna wanna go get you that. I wanted a bigger butt just because I thought that that was sexy. So for me at that time, I didn't feel like I was exploiting myself. I felt like I was in the trends, in the know, and in her But the thing about it, Kate Michelle was an attractive female without no surgeries. Like she literally don't need no surgeries. That's what be getting me. I'm like, tell me how females. I'm like, y'all straight without no surgery. Please don't mess with yourself, man. Don't mess with yourself, man. But this is the reason why they go see these other people on social media on TV and they let that influence them and just go off the rocker, man. I remember standing my grandma's full length mirror and turning to the side in my profile, and I could never picture a body that I wanted. I just knew I hated mine. The first time he was like, it doesn't make any sense. Like you're really, you think. Yeah. And I was like, no, I still want them. For me, but shots was a thing that I was just determined to do and no one could talk me out of it. I started working in a strip club and I started seeing all these girls getting their butts done and people were traveling up from Atlanta to do it. And I was determined I can actually change my body. I want this. So. I found someone in New Jersey and I did my first set of injections. And I loved, you know, the butt shots or whatever and then what That's why I heard like the lady she was putting some type of stuff in their butt and it was actually like killing people. Like it was something that was illegal and then it was just like super painful, bro. Like they ain't put under no put them under no anesthesia or nothing, just back just crazy, bro. Wow. One day, I was just starting to, you know, feel sick. And then it kept on going. They ran blood tests, everything. No one could find out what was wrong with me. And it got to the point, my left eye, still to this day, is so bad that I have to take steroids when I get on stage to sing and perform. I can't move like I used to. I just was having, like, this numbing feeling in the middle of the night. Sometimes I would even, like, cry out. Like, it would hurt. Me so bad with the increase of fatal procedures in the black market now look she doing all that just to you feel me trying to look good and killing herself just sad bro like it's low the fda sad. sent out an urgent warning against the use of silicone for injections 
The story of Letitia Bynum stands as just one example of this increasingly lethal fad. Over the past 20 years, nearly 25 deaths have been reported in the news, including former BET employee Kelly Mayhew. In 2015, cops deemed two botched butt lifts here in the city homicides, including the death of a Maryland woman who died after getting injections in a queen's basement. You got somebody like Cardi B. I heard Cardi on the Breakfast Club. Cardi was like, I actually regret getting some ass shots. Like, it's like, damn. Well, you got him in the basement. You got him in the basement. Yeah, I got him in the basement, so it's like, damn, I could die any minute now. Many women began to desire butt enhancements, and this expensive procedure gave rise to black market butt injections. These are non-physicians, and they're injecting a mixture of materials we don't even know what it is. You could be getting fix a flat some type of cooking oil, some type of car oil. After I got my butt shots, I felt like I had confidence, but then it was headaches all the time. It was can't even walk. I remember how Do you understand this type of stuff? Do you understand all this stuff going in your bloodstream? People don't understand the severity of that, bro. But you, you want to look so bad because of social media and because, of, bro, like, right she gets the surgery done she had lipo and she had a tummy tuck and then she has a physical right but since then she was complaining she was complaining of just body aches headaches you know just feeling really heavy all the time so she went to the doctor and the doctor tells her hey we just got your blood results why is your kidney count low so then the doctor says have you had any surgeries have you had any surgeries in the last year yes i've had tummy tuck i've had bbl all of these things so she has a cat scans on and during a cat scan it shows up it shows up she only has one kidney so down in dr this botch organ selling doctor took one of her kidneys she thought she was getting the steal of her life she was like 3500 for all that yes yeah, sign me up little did she know that the doctor was actually selling her kidney i don't know how much kidneys go on the black market but i know it's way more than 3500 now she's trying to contact this doctor now she's trying to find out okay where is this doctor this doctor disappeared guys disappeared the girl that was on freaking ig come to find out that girl was not even real that girl was not even a real person that girl was a botch account fake ass account and that account was actually taken down it was shown that this girl that was like oh yeah my body this and look at this doctor did this type of a job on me all those pictures were taken off of google those were google stole pictures so that wasn't even a real person okay so now my friend is pretty much like oh my god i can't find a doctor i don't know exactly what the hell i'm gonna do and now she has one kidney now she has one kidney and she's going through a whole bunch of freaking crap now she has to take medication now she has to do all these things and now she really has to protect her one kidney because that's all she has she goes to wow Easy. wow that's sad and crazy she went to go get a bbl first of all somebody for these altering these body altering surgeries somebody tell you thirty five hundred dollars you know that ain't some ain't right about that thirty five hundred dollars for all that bro do you understand that this your body is this permanent you going for thirty five hundred is you crazy but she got her kidney stone boy that is wild man but hey, let's keep it going Hell's killing why do she think that that look good? Hold up, hold up, bro. Is she like Miss U.S. Oh. What the? Wait, hold up. We we can't just skip past that. But do you see this? Oh my God! What's wrong with these females? Look, oh, what is this? What is this, bro? Are you kidding me? You paid for this. Well, 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 turn to your neighbor and say, oh my God. these BBLs killing y'all. Oh. Just completely sad, man. You, you work out? Yeah, I work out. What you can bench? Huh? What you can bench? Whatever, you want to lift you? Yeah. But I got you then. You, you want to lift you like a baby? Mm -hmm. Look, I don't I know this you. Libya. Man, this shit heavy. Playing. Come on, stop let's see. Let, let's stop see. I'm going to lift you up, all right? You ready? Good morning, you guys. Make sure you like and follow. I wanted to respond to this comment. Um, this lady um, stated that Raphael um, 
paralyze her mom. Now, I cannot confirm that because I have not found any research saying that Raphael has um, have any death or have done anything that hurt have hurt or harmed anybody but i wanted to put this news out here because i need to let you guys know any new news that i receive on the doctor that perform performed surgery on on me but um you know y'all i'm very transparent about everything so anything that i find out y'all got to know but this young lady is um but these are the risks you gotta go through when you're doing these surgeries man like look she's saying like she said i don't know how true it is but that he paralyzed uh that that doctor paralyzed her mom you feel me these, these are the risks we got to take man stating that he paralyzed her mom now y'all remember i want you guys to know that it it is two rafael gomez it's an old one and it's a, a young one so the young one done me so um i never known for him to be living outside of the dr so i am unsure if this is the same doctor that she's talking about that performed surgery on me so with that being said yeah make sure y'all like and follow comment below and let me know so this person posted a video on an airplane of people coming home from surgery overseas which is fine there's some very good surgeons overseas but when you have post-op care possible complications and recovery issues you really want to be close to your doctor but best of luck in your choices to move forward. So this person- Let's see, listen to the doctor. Y'all literally do- Listen to the doctor. You want to be close to your doctor, man. Y'all going overseas to- Bro, I feel like if you get a BBL, man, you better pay that bag and do it here to somebody certified. Don't be going all the way around, up, all across the country to somebody you know. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what type of surgery them, them guys doing. Look, the old girl done got a kidney stolen. Do it by somebody here and pay that bag. I'm sorry. You got to pay that bag, man. That's just that. When you're doing life-altering surgery. You feel me? Not get a BBL. Do not get a BBL. Get, like, liposuction and sculpture, if anything. But BBLs, baby, I almost died. It's cute, but, like, girls still jump in my DMs talking about, oh, I'm botched just like you. And then two seconds later, another girl's like, I want a BBL just like Okay, so this time my BBL almost killed me in a minute or less. Basically, back in 2019, I got a BBL and I thought it was perfect. I thought it was hot shit. It was my chef's kiss. Nobody could tell me shit. Six months in, one of the booty cheeks starts growing. Hmm. And I'm like, no, 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 no. There's no way. No, it was. It, it continued. People started telling me. People would tell me. And so the original doctor had me go get an ultrasound. The ultrasound said that there was a mass in it and there was fluid. So I had to get it all removed. Flew back to my... That's infection. It was infected and that infection was, it caused the swelling. That's what happened. I mean, you tried to get it removed. Basically, they couldn't do it because it was so thick and there was so much. Flew back home, tried to find a doctor to do it, trying to find a doctor to do it. Couldn't find anybody. Everybody denied me. Finally, I found a reconstructive plastic surgeon who was willing to do it, but it was a very large price tag. And it was an emergency at that point. It had festered so badly that it was an emergency. So they had to cut my booty cheek open. I still have the scar. It's horrible. To get all of my liquid and solid fat necrosis removed. And if I never found my doctor, I it would have either like just been a very large infection or killed. Sad. That's completely sad. And she had to end up spending more money to get the problem fixed than she paid to get it. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Mom, I wanna go. I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all. If you want to do a BBL, do your research because Miami ain't it. First of all, it's cheap for a reason. Let's start there. Facts. Secondly, everybody's ass looks the same. Like, why are they putting these big old dump trucks on shorties that have skinny ass legs? Do a skinny BBL. If you're a doctor, you should know how to do that. And I'm speaking from experience because I saw Dr. Miami with my first BBL and he literally made me look like my ass was full of cement and it was weighing me down that I had to go get it revised years later to actually match my frame. So... Do not go to Miami or Florida to get a BBL. It's Are butt injections effective or should I get a BBL? 
So I think if you mean by butt injections or butt shots, there is something called Sculptra. So Sculptra is a, is a filler that you get to the butt. Now Sculptra or the fillers that you get to your butt, there's not a lot of volume. So it is for the specific uses for patients who probably don't have a lot of fat or probably do not even qualify for a BBL because they don't have lots of fat. So it is used for a different use. If you are definitely looking for a rounder buttock and you have no fat, probably the best way to kind of to go about doing that is to do a BBL as opposed to just doing the butt shots or the sculpture. BBL? Not do none of that. The first couple of months after, that shit looks so good. Mm. I look to sense, you couldn't tell me shit, mm. right? What they don't tell you about BBLs is that the fat can die. What? what do you mean? What do you mean the fat dies? So those are all fat cells. Yeah. Those fat cells from being disturbed, from being moved, from being right. spun and all the Taking things that they use with it. Original, original environment. environment. They can die. Your body can reject it. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. giving it the nutrients or whatever the fuck it needs. Yeah. Three, four, five months after this shit, did my fat not die? And what does my, that mean? So it basically <sighs> means you end up like peeing it out. What? But it's not like fat cells like that. Like you don't pee. Okay, so no, for example, I know yeah, what you mean. Of course. It's like yeah, when yeah, you're losing yeah, weight. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. you yeah, just yeah, yeah, pee yeah, it yeah. out, right? So yeah. like it just, I was. Back to the square one. <sighs> no way. And do you know why I was off? Because do you know how dangerous a BBL is? Yeah. I've heard. It is the most dangerous surgery. Yeah, like, it is. Because the amount of arteries and veins and all that sort of stuff you have in your arm. Right? At any point they can nick an artery. If that yeah. if blood if if fat goes into your artery, you're dead. There, bum. Yes. <gasps> because yeah. it's going straight to your heart. Because before this, I was like, oh yeah, do what you want, do what you want, do what you want. Don't do a BBL. Don't do it. Don't the cheeks you have now, your cheeks. These are these are the cheeks that I had before I had my BBL. Yeah. Now you're mocking me, it. If BBL, this is your cheeks me, now, you yeah. What did you want? You talk the pig. I wanted There's no it. way. Do you know what's so mad? Yeah. I thought you went and done another BBL. You already got a big, what, what, what are you doing? This, this, this the issue. I'm like, bro, what are y'all doing, bro? And all these guys are like, dude, you look good. Who are you trying to impress? The guy's telling you like, it's big. Like, what else do you want? Like, bro, you're going to go kill yourself anyway. What's wrong with him? Oh, no, <laughs> everyone says the so same I thing. Thought, when I saw my hips come in, I was like, wait. This is what I was saying to my mom I wanted years ago and it came through naturally after the BBL is dead and gone. Mm. Mm. That's what me off because I was like, now nah, I really risked my life to look a certain way for no damn reason. I'm there and I ran and got my BBL. Mm. Booty bobble, bobble, bobble. What? But yeah, but hey man, thank you guys for watching the video, man. What y'all think about BBL? Y'all tell me in the comments, man. See you guys next video. Let's get it.